In this video, we talk about why you shouldn't be using resistance bands in your weight training and should you be training more like Phil Heath or more like Jordan Peters? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> should you be using bands in your training? Probably not, depends who you are. Majority of people whacking their bands on or they're putting their chains on the end and I'm like, mate, you've only got 20 kilos on each side of that. Yeah. The premise behind using bands is altering the strength curve, the resistance across. You will find it harder in a lift. It makes it slightly more preferable. Technically, it's called a strength profile. Strength profile. I think, I think that's what they like to call it, not curve. It's a valid thing. For those people who have found in their lifts that they maybe are stalling at certain parts or that they want a very consistent level of intensity throughout the lift, often people find when they get to certain weights that they can't push beyond that, they need to make it more difficult certain parts but they got a sticking point at maybe yeah. other areas they need to worry about for high level bodybuilders great crack on great. like you're going to probably need to look into it and investigate it and even educate yourself to a very high level understand why and when to band and things like that yeah however again if you're stacking plates and plates on a leg press and plates and plates on a pendulum and things like that yeah warranted yeah go for it yeah I'd add a little bit more resistance in the form of accommodating resistance in a band but most people who we see on instagram do you not need to be worrying about it no like if you're not that strong or you're not a really competitive bodybuilder you just want to train to look good for yourself or you just want to get a bit stronger you don't need to worry about it if a weight stalls on a certain movement just change the movement do a different movement don't worry about trying to band everything or trying to make it harder in certain portions of it because the likelihood is you just need to get stronger overall yeah and like i said for the majority of people without any performance goals or aesthetic goals to that level of performance where you're going to win placings and all that sort of stuff just not worth your time again it's no. just more minutiae detail that doesn't need to be take like it, you don't even need to give it thought it's just overthinking things for the sake of it is adding more things in and again like if you enjoy it fine that's one thing but a lot of people just don't train hard enough to even warrant it it's, mm. it's like you'll see people and they just like you say there's no load there's just no real like that, that you don't know if they're that close to failure but they're banding things it's mm -hmm. it's a little bit th there's such a trend now there's a trend in the industry to band stuff to cuff stuff yep. to add tiny little plates onto dumbbells there's a guy in america who's just released a program he's a doctor I think he's just really selling a training program about it all and he was banding something the other day a squat he was banding and he was pulling himself in like the wrong direction and he was supposed to be because it activated more hamstring or something and it was just like incorrect, like factually incorrect, but because it had a massive band on it and it looked impressive, he'll probably sell a few programs. People go, oh, that looks interesting. Yeah. That's new. It's different. Because it's different. And because it's new and different, people think that they should be doing it or that it's going to give them the gains they've not seen before with their weight training. It's like, no, the reason you're not seeing gains up to this point is you're not training to that point where you're training heavy enough or intensely enough or to failure enough, probably. And there's that element to it where you have to train hard first and have a good foundation. Otherwise, you're not really going to do much with the adding a band on. Yeah. You're still going to find it hard. And if you've already find the weight training hard and you can't progress with it like chances are adding a band ain't gonna help you yeah and you'll get the you'll get the backlash oh yeah but so and so does it yeah but they're a great bodybuilder and they do it yeah but they've not always done it they're doing it now they're to doing get it the now. last little bit out of they're what they're, they're doing. doing it now and there's also you can flip that and go yeah but there's a lot that aren't there's a lot that are not doing that I don't know. Did you see the like the Phil Heath and JP discussion? No. JP nearly had a heart attack because Phil Heath doesn't train push pull leg and, and he doesn't log book. JP couldn't get his head around it. Phil Heath's Mr. Olympia. So, so, so do it that way then. Yeah, everyone, so everyone, do it that way then. Do that way. And that's not saying that you shouldn't be log booking or training push pull legs. That's More that's not. That's just saying that there's another way to do it. Just because one person does it one way, another person getting equally, if not better results, is doing it somewhere else. And again, it's not because of he's not doing that why he's got better results. It's so because of other things. Training consistently. <laughs> Eating well enough, yeah. taking the right drugs. That's why he's that's why he's that. Yeah, exactly. And genetics come into it as well to a certain degree. Like, yeah, of it's, course. It's just fascinating that in the fitness industry, it's just a sheep like thing. Everyone follows what someone else is doing. Yeah. More. And oh, like, they're doing that. They're think doing that. Critically about where you're at in your journey, your time point, the amount yeah. of experience you've got, what were they doing? Probably not what they're doing yeah. now. That's why they're doing it now, is that they're at that point where they can take it to that extra level. So think critically, make sure that you're using your brain and thinking, right, do I really need to invest 120 quid in these bands? Are they really gonna make a difference? Probably not. Just train a bit harder first and wait until you get to the point where it's going to be useful for you. Yeah, just don't be a sheep. Oh, they're doing reps and reserves, so will I. Oh, they're wearing Vibrams, you know, just just don't. You do you, boo. Yeah, mm, slay on. So if you like that video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and Just consider it, it. Just, just consider, consider it. it. You don't have to do it, no, but... Just consider it, though. Do it, though. Just please. think about it. Just think about it. And share this with a mate who probably gets themselves tangled up in bands when they're in the gym mm. and could do with not doing that. Until next time, see you later.